The following program, although edited for television, still may contain some objectionable material. The producers feel that alone should be enough to make you stay tuned to this channel. This authentic early American bee smoker worth $9.84 or any one of these other exciting nearly great prizes might be taken home by our contestants. And we have something horrendous in store for their unfortunate loved ones. All this and much, much less tonight on The Cheap Show. And here's the host of The Cheap Show, the only man we can find to work with cheap, a man who actually believes that his check is in the mail, Mr. Dick Martin. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to hit me one day with that. Good evening and welcome to their cheap show. It looks like we have a perfect audience tonight. They look as cheap as we are. <laughs> to give you some idea how cheap they are here, some stars get a limousine. I got a bicycle. <laughs> I did. All in all, they go to very little expense to bring you this show. And you may see some pretty ugly things happen here tonight. But remember, it's all in fun and no one gets hurt. Now, posing as our celebrities tonight are these folks. <laughs> these folks here who had nothing better to do for a half an hour. The talented, award-winning actress who had no idea how little she would be paid tonight, <laughs> Miss Rita Moreno. told as little as possible about this show, David Doyle. <laughs> where's, uh, where's our third uh, celebrity? That's right, Dick. Henry Ford was supposed to be with us tonight, but he said that the change in his pocket added up to more money than we offered to pay him. Back to you, Dick. Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to see old Hank. Huh? Can I have a moment with you, please? Uh. <laughs> I guess you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, our hostess, the wonderful and beautiful Fillmore. It's Wanda. Wanda. And she's our lovely hostess this evening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you like to meet our first contestant? I feel somewhere I've lost control. <laughs> ah, my goodness, I'd like to meet our first contestant. Okay, Dick. Sometimes she's a snake, but most of the time she's a belly dancer. Well, which are you right now? Right now I'm a Middle Eastern dancer, Dick. Middle Eastern yes. dancer? I was mostly a snake in the past. Were you really? Yes. How do you know that? Well, because I have a memory. You see, oh. I was a snake all my life and I was changed. You remember <laughs> being a snake? Of course. Is that a fact? Yes. Where were you a snake? I was a snake in Lebanon. In Lebanon That's you were right. snake? Yes. Is that well? Yes. <laughs> What the hell is that? That's Henry Ford. He's here. <laughs> okay, this is Jeff Newman Dick. He's a professional gate crasher. He said that if we didn't put him on the show, he'd be here anyway. Well, right. <laughs> I gotta tell you, he's big enough to get in anywhere he wants to. Oh, Hello there. How you doing? How, how do you crash gates mostly? Well, sometimes I get in there, and if they say you can't come in, I wear a costume that'll allow me to go in one way or another. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a little example here. Okay. Now, you wear something like this, but you want to get into the wrestling matches. You go, I know I'm in the third match. Coming through. Yes. Yes. Um, it's time to play our game after our commercial after this. <laughs> what did she say?
is time to explain our game. And I do it, except I don't know how to play. Why don't you explain it to him, Lila? You sure did. <laughs> okay, this is our... Um, this is our first round, and um, we call it most of the time round one. And in this round, the questions are worth one point each. Then we'll ask our celebrities a question. You will then decide who has the right answer. Uh -huh. If you pick correctly, you and your loved one will share a prize. Uh -huh. um, but if you're wrong, we'll take a cheap shot at your loved one. <laughs> <laughs> Finale. Yeah. Okay, now we have right. Marta's loved one. Is Jono Kusa Wudawan? Joseph. I'll bet you a dollar that's not even close. Joseph. Oh, it's very close. Is it really? In fact, it's exactly right. Oh, be darned. <laughs> okay. Uh, he can tie himself in a knot. I just heard about that, and I'd kind of like to see that. Uh, can too. you really tie yourself in a knot? Sure, if you want to see it. Oh, I'd love to see it. How about it? Cheap show goggles and get into the pit. Personally, I don't know why they're willing to go in there. But maybe they like to have ugly things happen to them. Well, we'll, we'll see in a moment. Okay, could I have the first question there, Winda? It's Wanda Dixon, and here I am. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Marta, but you won the top backstage, but you get to go first. Martha, Marta goes first. Okay, gang, here it is. The category is old, old Egyptians. As far back as 5200 B.C., the ancient, ancient Egyptians Easy were... Easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> the ancient Egyptians were bending over, doing something that millions of Americans still enjoy today. What were these ancient Egyptians doing? <laughs> I can't wait to hear Rita's answer on this. <laughs> Oh, oh, I had at least three answers, but I don't know. There. <laughs> nice Puerto Rican girls don't say those things. They were tying their own shoelaces. They were tying their own shoelaces. That makes but a lot of sense. But the fact is, the fact is that the Egyptians contributed very sophisticated methods of agriculture which have been passed on to subsequent cultures. Right. And they That's right. And as a matter of fact, they were tending their own gardens. They were tending their own garden. That makes a lot of sense. David, what do you think? Uh, strangely enough... <laughs> Uh, not to be confused with bocce ball or anything like that. <laughs> that was, believe it or not, the beginning of bowling. Bowling in the sand. How about that? Okay, David says bowling, and uh, Rita says she, they were tending their gardens. Marta, is it Rita or David? Uh, there was a lot of gardening going on there, and the ball, they would have rolled into one of my snake holes. So I would say it's Rita Moreno. Okay, let's find out who has the real answer. <laughs> the correct answer. Pretty sneaky of me. To Very say. sneaky. <laughs> Jeff, you get the points. Martha, your loved one, gets the punishment. when he was tied in the knot down here. <laughs> anyway, that's the loser's reward, and I'm sure that Polly the prize lady must have something just a little better for the winner. Let's see. That's right, Dick. When your sink stops up, what do you do? Call a plumber? Get out the plunger? Well, we've made sure that you'll never have to worry about that again because you've got a spare sink. 
It's peace of mind from the thoughtful folks at the Cheap Show. Total value, four dollars and eighty-five cents. Now back to you, Dick. What we need here, what we need here is a real fast recap. Take it away. One to zero. By golly, that's real fast. And we don't know who's got the one or the zero, though. Um, Jeff. Jeff. Well, we don't know whether he's got the one or the zero. Jeff has the one and Marty has the zero. Okay. Could we have the second question? I don't mind if we did. <laughs> Thank you. You've got a, a place, a secret place down there. Huh? Oh, you're fine. <laughs> okay. This is your question, Jeff. And the category is double of nothing. Double of nothing. If Tom Thumb had a clone and one stood on the other's head, how tall would they be? If Tom Thumb had a clone and they stood on one each other's head, how tall would they be? David. Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb. With a clone. I would be oh, about eight hangnails. Eight <laughs> No, no, it had to be much bigger than that because Tom was bigger than a thumbnail. Uh, Tom, that, that would be about um, two, two Paul Williamses and three inches. About <laughs> six feet three. Six feet three. Just about. Just the about. two of them. Six yes. feet three. Stand on each other. Okay, Rita, what do you think? Oh, my, I, I, it's not very tall, obviously. Actually, um, I would say six feet Eight inches. Six feet, eight inches. And this is the closest one we've ever had, Jeff. <laughs> I will recap. <laughs> I'll recap. It's a this. tough one. I'll recap. It's a tough one. Give the man the benefit of the right, doubt. The man, the man knows what words he speaks. Rita says six feet, eight inches. And David said six feet, three inches. Oh, Let's go with golly. David. You're going with David. Let's find out who has the real answer. <laughs> Answer. Marty, you get the points. Jeff, your loved one gets the punishment. Brother Jeff saying I loved it. That's right. I just want you to know. Brother there. I don't want a tumble or anything. I can't wait to hear what the prize is for this nonsense. <laughs> That's right, Dick. We're sending you to an enchanting island in the Pacific. That's right. We'll pay for your one-way ticket to Balboa Island, approximately 500 yards at sea. You'll cruise in semi-luxury aboard the Balboa Island Ferry, which, by the way, has no other interesting features worth mentioning. A trip to paradise worth 45 cents. Some of the contestants on the Cheap Show will receive new Rough It by Z-Brick, ready to use acrylic sculpture coat for dramatic walls and ceilings. Now you can create deep textures like a professional. And natural style Mott's applesauce, a special apple blend without added sugar or preservatives for the calorie conscious or those preferring natural foods. Plus St. Mary's crisp, easy care sheets and pillowcases, enhance some traditional patterns and soft, pretty colors to complement any decor. Jeff and Marta are tied at one point each. Uh, tell us about uh, round two. Well, it's called round two. And um, in this round, we'll ask one question, and the question is worth 20 points. The first one to score 20 or more plays the bonus round. Well, that makes sense to me. Is that all, Lena? No, it's Wanda, Jeff. Wanda. Let's flip points to see who goes first. Okay, by me. We just happen to have one right here. This is the biggie. Okay, let's see. Marta? You get heads, 
Jeff, you get tails. Ready to go? Okay, here we go. What is it? It's Hayon! It's Hayon's! Okay! <laughs> it's Hayon! Oh, no. Martha gets to answer the question. Could I have the third question, darling? I sure would. I... <laughs> ah, thank you. Okay, the third question, and the category is dynamic duos. Dynamic duos. Together, they weigh 1,500 pounds, and they have been trained to ride minicycles. What are they? Aha! Uh -huh. These were two baboons, trained baboons with an Italian circus. I, I believe it was an Italian. I might be wrong on the nationality, right. but they were trained they baboons. They were trained baboons. Yes. Okay, Rita, what do you say? It's the McCary twins. The McCary twins? Yep. My goodness gracious, there's a choice for you, Marta. Uh, David says it's, uh, what did you say, David? Trained baboons. Trained baboons. And Rita said it's the McCary twins. Is it David or is it Rita? Uh, Rita Moreno, you're my lady. It's okay. Rita. Let's find out who's right. That's right, Dick. You won the Cheap Show Fashion Package, a generous assortment of ugly ties, this pair of mangy old peg pants, and last but not least, this pair of dirty white bucks, just like the ones Debbie Boone's father wears. So be out of place, any place. For the retail value of these wardrobe extras, $8.50. Now back to you, Dick. Oh, thank you. Jeff, you and your brother have been marvelous guests. I can't wait to see and hear more about how you crash gates. And in the meantime, we have some marvelous prize for you, some great parting gifts. So thank you for being with us. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What, what are you looking at there? It's time for a commercial. How can you tell? You don't have a watch. Our congratulations to Marta and Jono. You've survived. And the punishments are all over, and you get to play now in our semi-colossal prize sweepstakes finale. And this is the part of the show our producers can't stand because they have to come up with some money to give away real prizes here. These are real ones, so play well and get your, get your revenge. All right, now you see all these numbered holes? Right here, uh, they correspond to the numbers on our prize board over there. And here's what happens, because good old what's-his-name is going to tell us about some of the fantastic things that are uh, available today. It's the Viking 16-foot pull-down camper. It's rugged yet light, low and easy to load. The little gas or another great camper from Viking or a brand new television set. This computer built two solid states with cheaper black stripe features, table, teletune, remote control, touch sensor tuning, lighter channel indicator, all in a simulated walnut green cabinet from Toshiba. <gasps> talks in shorthand. Okay, let's meet the little fellow who helps give away the prizes, the internationally acclaimed Oscar the Wonder Rodent. And this is... And this is Roger, Oscar's guard. He is the security guard. Everything all right with Oscar? Okay, Roger. Here's the way it works. Roger... Roger will carefully place Oscar the Wonder Rodent in the prize, in the, right here in the prize launch area. And right there in the middle, we'll spin, we'll spin the wheel. I'm getting so excited, I can't wait to see where he's going next. Whichever hole Oscar chooses to hide in, you'll get the prize that matches that hole. You got it? Now, before we start, you should have some ESP going, because if you can guess what hole he's going down first, you will get the grand prize. You're right, Dick, an all-new Chevy Chevette four-door hatchback. The new rear doors make it easy to get into the back seat where you'll find lots of leg room. The Chevette four-door hatchback has the comfort and convenience you want in a small car by Chevy Chevette. Okay, Martha. 
Martin Jono, what hole do you think he's going in? Number 10. Okay, if he goes into number 10, you not only get the prize from the board, but you get the grand prize. Here we go. Roger, the wonder rodent, please. Here we go. There goes Oscar. There goes Oscar. <laughs> Lightweight and strong American tourist, your luggage, a pretty piece of protection for your clothes. We'll get on a bus to Buffalo or a jet to Jamaica. You'll travel first class with American Tourister and the Maxima Hotel. A luxurious, shining new face in the heart of Las Vegas. 17 stories in the most elegant hotel on the famed Las Vegas trip. The Maxima Hotel Casino. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to tell you this, but our producer just shot himself. <laughs> He just lost the car. <laughs> I'd like to say goodbye to Martin Jono, and you've been marvelous, and you've won some nice prizes, and to David Doyle and Rita Moreno. Beautiful. Guys, you're beautiful. The wonderful Zelda. This is Dick Martin. Remember, it's not whether you win or lose. It's how much it costs you. See you next time. Some of the contestants on the Cheap Show will receive car wax, perfect for our grand prize car or your own car. Simonize, the first great name in car waxes. Available in free softened in liquid form. There are shines, and there are Simonize shines. And a 22-piece Master Mechanic multi-drive socket set, complete with fitted box. Exclusively from True Value Hardware Stores. And La Machine by Molinex, the incredible food preparation system from France. It's like having a professional chef right at your side. Janelle Price, Cheryl Bernheim, Roger Chaplin, Joe Baker, and Billy Beck. I'm your chief announcer, Charlie O'Donnell.